We've taken our Lance 2075 out on its maiden voyage. We've spent a week in it, and we've come up with three things we love about it, and three things that we're not so crazy about it. Honest review, coming right up. Now, as we look at this, it was actually pretty hard to narrow it down to three things we love about it because this travel trailer truly is pretty amazing. There's so much to like. And we did do an interior and exterior walkthrough on the channel and we went into a lot of those items. But if we had to narrow it down to three things we love most about it, number one, the bedroom with the stargazer window just an amazing part of the travel trailer and really the key part such a spacious bedroom with a walk around queen residential style bed uh, huge windows the stargazer window the tv the way it's situated everything about it we love the bedroom period second thing we love the windows this travel trailer has so much outside that comes in via the windows in the bedroom, the dinette, and the kitchen. The windows in terms of coverage are fantastic. The quality in terms of double paned windows are amazing. We love the way they flip out or they open out. We love the blinds and the screens. We love the hikey roof vents. All the window coverage is by far one of the things we love most about this trailer. And finally, the third thing we love the most is going to be all the storage, both exterior storage and interior. Lance has done an amazing job of finding every nook and cranny. And one of the great things about it is you have a place for pretty much everything it's compartmentalized in a way that is functional and easy to get to and it just makes it a lot easier when you're on the road when you have appropriate storage for all the little and big things that you want to take with you so that is definitely one of the top three reasons that we love this trailer okay so now let's give you three reasons we don't particularly love the trailer. Three things that maybe uh, Lance should consider looking at. The first one I mentioned on the exterior walkthrough, I'm not crazy about uh, the separate black and gray tanks. Trailer I had before had the dump valves all come out in one section. So the gray and the black merged into one valve. So you hook up the uh, sewer hose and you can empty the black tank first close it leave the hose where it is and then empty the gray after to help flush out all that waste from the black now with the tank separated i have to empty the black disconnect the hose connect it to the gray then empty the gray it's a little extra work it's a little extra hassle and it was just a lot cleaner and easier when they merged into one so i don't love that second thing i don't love when we bought the trailer and picked it up from the dealer, we ordered it from the factory and we chose not to have a TV in the kitchen dinette area. We only wanted the TV in the bedroom. Well, from the factory, the DVD player did not come connected to the bedroom TV. And so we had to do a workaround. And so now when we do wanna watch a DVD in the bedroom, we have to uh, hook up an HDMI um, loop so it's a little extra step that we have to do every time we watch a DVD don't love that wish the factory had just connected it from the factory uh, straight away so that's item number two we're not crazy about and then finally item number three and I think this one is part of our expectations and maybe not being fully informed 
on this. So the Truma hot water and heating system, the Truma Combi, is an amazing piece of equipment and the furnace side of it is awesome. You get very, very even, consistent heat and you get it in a way that's quiet. Most RVs are gonna have a furnace that just blasts on and off and it's super loud and it doesn't keep it very even. This thing on the furnace side is amazing. Now to the expectation part of it. When we ordered the trailer, we had heard that the Truma hot water heater was a tankless on-demand wa hot water heater. I'm here to tell you that is not correct. It is not a tankless hot water heater and it is not an on-demand hot water heater. You're going to have to take a Navy shower and be diligent with the hot water as you would with any other trailer. And you're gonna have to be patient for the Truma to heat up the water. If it's starting from scratch, it could take up to 45 minutes to get the water hot. Uh, there is a couple of different modes, so you can leave it on to keep the water hot. But if you're starting from scratch and you're in a hurry, just know you're not going to be taking a hot water shower. Uh, so that is one piece that we're not thrilled about. And that's partly due to the expectation we had, which was not altogether accurate. Um, and, and so you just need to know that. Uh, but as a totality, the whole system is pretty amazing. And again, with the furnace, I can't be happier with that. We're just uh, not super thrilled with the hot water piece of it uh, because we are expecting something a little bit different and so I think if you're looking at this trailer and uh, you're looking at the Truma combi system you just need to be informed and know exactly what it is all right so that'll do it for our top three and bottom three for the 2075 if you have any questions leave them in comments happy to respond and give you feedback on this trailer and if you like the content here on idaho voyager make sure to subscribe <music>